Are we ready? Senior Crystal Luciano, head coach Krista Tilburg Sebeski, and junior Ajne Durant will start with an opening statement from Coach. About that. <laughs> I think that's the best one for these guys. I've been wanting this for them for such a long time. We should have gotten one at home here on Friday night. It was kind of stolen from us. And uh, so now we move forward. That was a turning point, and they backed it up today. And I'm uh, just pretty proud. Pretty proud of these guys against a good one in there, too. Yeah, just for Ashne, it seemed like during the beginning of that first quarter, they were kind of bottling you up well. They were defending you well. But toward, you know, in that second half, you really came on fire and were able to get a few buckets. What were you seeing in the defense there that helped you out? Uh, definitely, uh, their transition game wasn't as good. So, you know, the more we kept running on them, the more uh, points we get. And then we had to get stopped. So, definitely, the transition offense helped us. Uh, great win tonight, Coach. I just want to know um, what changes, if any, do you plan on making when you head down to uh, Williamsburg in two days? Well, when you want to give up all our ammunition right on uh, national <laughs> television here. Um, you know, we, uh, we just got to focus on us, right? I mean, these guys do a great on the court adjustments. We had worked on some things with our zone and we covered that well and then they tried to find another spot and we adjusted and thought Sydney Epps rotated down a couple times, got a key key jump ball and a key takeaway when we needed it. So I think, um, you know, these guys, we're focusing on us right now. I mean, it was really just all about us to get this turning point. Coach, in the, in the third quarter, they shoot 60%, but in the fourth, you pretty much shut them down just three for 12. Was there any adjustment into the fourth? Because it seemed like they were really stifled. Well, we were down. So, you know, when, when we um, kind of had a couple of little debacles in that third quarter a little bit, and they didn't get down. Like so I said, this team, in their eyes, I know when when where, where we were and where we are now, it was, it was a different feeling. It was just like, all right, that was happened. That wasn't good. We can't focus on that. And I said, let's you know try to get it to single digits by the first media. You know, and then so Anna makes a nice, I mean, Liv makes a nice shot for us right there. She, you know, being a threat on the outside opens it up for Renee. And, um, you know, and then we just sort of piece it, you know, piece by piece. And then had to get some stops. Had to get some stops. I know what they said, we got out and ran. Crystal got a great steal from them. Aliana had a layup, Crystal had a layup. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it was just great, great, heady stuff by them. Crystal, just from inside the team, I mean, you haven't had a lot of a chance to talk to them since this win, but how is the feeling having this win for you mm -hmm. guys? I think it's, it was really good that we had this win. Um, I think we really needed it um, because, like Coach said, last last game, we were really right there. And then just against all odds, like Coach K said today, we didn't have the win. But I think it's really good. I mean, the atmosphere in the locker room and in the team is way better since last game um, because everybody's just giving their all. And I don't know. I think the atmosphere and the energy between everybody and, and teammates and even the staff is really, really good right now. Did you notice any sort of change from the last game to this game in terms of the mentality or anything like that? Um, yeah, everybody's getting like more like mentally tough. Confidence is way high because um, people are getting the experience, people are getting the chance, and they're like um, taking care of their minutes, um, coming in and doing what they need to do. So the confidence is like starting to get higher, like starting to get better. And that's good for everybody coming off the bat. Crystal, you get eight assists as well. Do you come into the game kind of with the mentality to spread the ball, or did you kind of pick that up as you went along and you kind of had good feeds with some of your players? I try to come with the mentality um, right off um, the beginning of the game to, like um, like you said, just be the playmaker. And today, um, the middle was wide open, even in their press, and they was just wide open the entire time. I, I'm pretty sure I got, like, seven assists out of May today. <laughs> so um, just being able to see that, being able to see where – what is open and who is open, um, I just try to come with that mentality. And Coach, it seemed like you guys were playing a lot of your starters today, more minutes than usual. Is that kind of the plan, or was that just putting whoever was having the best performance on the floor? No, I mean, we've tried to stretch it out and, and, and try to separate, give some people some minutes to help us down the stretch, to help us come to the time. But, um, you know, it's it's definitely, uh, you know, the team needed this. You know, the team definitely needed this. And Crystal will talk to me and said, look, we just need to – have some stability and uh, you know and that's that's what we're doing we did from the last game and here moving forward so you know you always give credit where credit is due it's what these guys can believe in what they can do and you know we need to be empowered by everybody on the floor though because crystal needs time and you know and she wants whether it's lex whether it's p whoever it is she's the first to empower people she's like look come in help me out so i think uh you know they've just done a good job of you know just trying to again help each other and and, and focus in and you know, and I think the upperclassmen are just trying to be a little more stable. I think Aliana has made that turn. She's been trying to take care of the basketball. You know, we were under 20 turnovers. So I think even the people that had been in this spot, like an Aliana and Sid, and I said a couple turnovers today, but they've really tried to watch their film and be more productive with their time. 
and uh, and I think it's paying off for everyone. Now you're kind of coming down the stretch in a close game with again we've talked about the, the young team that you're kind of <clears throat> part of leading. How do you kind of do you kind of keep a vocal role of kind of keeping your heads in the game, making sure they're in the same, right place, things like that in these final seconds when they could have tried to take the lead back, but you make that last stop. Uh, I don't talk much, and that's probably been a problem. But uh, definitely lately, I've been trying to like say like, you know, let's go, we got it. You know, uh, the underclassmen have to know that when they get in the game, they have to be ready. You know, keep up the same energy as when the returners or whoever's out there would had on the court. You know, so just a whole lot of like victim of, let's go. You know, we got this. Now, Nay, you might not uh, talk a lot, but your actions do a lot of talking. You <laughs> <laughs> spend practically the whole game out there, minus a couple seconds. How do you feel being in th this leadership role, basically playing 40 minutes straight? Uh, I feel okay. You know, at first, you know, once I get out there, I don't know why I'm going to win the beginning of the game to the end of the game, but, um, <laughs> yeah, that is true. <laughs> <laughs> I feel bad. Um, I don't know. I just got to keep going. You know, I just try to do whatever I need to do for the win and for my team. Coach, for you, Olivia, starting again, what did you think of her, her second straight start, how she played? I think she's just trying to do everything to help us, and she knows her limitations. So, I mean, that, that's one thing Liv's always been able to do. I mean, she's always, you know, she's smart. She, you know, stays within her means. She doesn't try to go and do something that she's not. You know, sometimes she can shoot a little more for us. But, uh, but you know what? She's got to be comfortable with that, and she was tonight. She hit them exactly when we needed them. So, but that, yeah, I mean, there's absolutely no doubt about how proud I am of what she has, does and, and always has been like that. You know, she's very heady and I think continue with the more experience. You know, she helped us out a lot today, you know, taking the cut down, really being aware of the top of that 2 3 zone um, and, you know, stuff she's working on, you know, to get better. She's constantly doing that. So, yeah, I've just been really, really proud of, of what she's doing. Very proud. Kind of an unorthodox going to Virginia on a Tuesday uh, because of the postponed game. I guess how, kind of how do you get your team ready for such a quick turnaround for Tuesday? That's why it's just us right now. <laughs> I joked him. I said, "Who we have on Tuesday?" So, <laughs> um, yeah, it, you know, it just is what it is. We'll have a nice little fun road trip up there tomorrow or down there tomorrow, and uh, relax, rest, recover. That's all we're going to do in these next two days to get ready. So we have all day tomorrow, and then we don't play till seven. So you know, we'll get on the court on Tuesday and shoot around and then uh, they'll be ready to go so that's 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 really it so a little NBA action right now right a couple days in the middle of the week so we can do it we can do it this group is ready so thank you